Hey guys, if you're having problems with your Canon software, right here, I'm gonna provide you guys the link, but it should look something like this if you guys Google it. All right, just go to the USA site. You guys can also go to Canadian site if you guys are in Canada, but it doesn't really matter where you're at, you can still access the US site. So from here, just pick whichever camera you guys have. So in my case, we're gonna just choose this for now. T3i, so it's a pretty old camera. So down here below, you guys will see the software. So right now it's not working because you guys don't have the most updated software. So we have to download this one right here and just make sure you guys have this selected, okay? So once you guys have that selected and this comes up, you guys are good to go. That means you guys can put select, okay? So right here, you guys can see driver, software details, how to install, blah, blah, blah. You don't really need to read all that. Just click on download, which is on your right hand side. You guys will see this. Now that means that your download already started, so it should be done by now. So right here, I can see that it's finished. So I'm gonna double click on it. Here we go. So we're just making sure that we're going to the actual Canon website. Don't go anywhere else. There's a lot of viruses out there. There's fake websites. There's a bunch of stuff. So you guys don't want that. So we're just gonna install this right now. Once we have this installed, everything should work fine. I'm, I'm gonna be able to import my images. I'm gonna be able to do remote shooting and all that stuff. Now, if you guys are still having problems, let me just select US Canada. From here, you guys, I guess, again, you guys can choose whatever you guys want. It doesn't matter where you're at. I'm just gonna choose Canada for now. I'm put next. And then it's gonna tell you this, just click okay. There we go. So you usually do want all these things. You don't have to have all these, but let's just go install. Yes, your password, and it's gonna install. So even though you guys might already have utility number two, doesn't matter, just download it again. For some of you, with the cameras that you guys have, you guys will see utility number three. Okay, so just download that one. Again, it depends what camera you guys have. Now let's say you guys have an older camera, it doesn't really give you this option for utility two then just select this one, T3i. It's gonna work just fine. I've tested out with several Canon cameras, which are a little bit older. For some reason, they haven't been updated here on the Canon website, but you guys can just go to T3i, download this, and you guys are good to go. So we're just gonna go next. Registration, oh, I would like to register later. Yeah, yeah, finish and finish. And we are done, so right now, all right, if you guys don't see it there, then just go into Finder and you guys can see your applications. There's so many ways to get there, right? So I'm just gonna fire it up. Obviously right now, you guys don't see all these options highlighted. That means I have to turn on my camera, which I will right now. And then I should see that all this becomes available. So right now it did all become available. So I can click on any one of these. Okay, if they don't highlight like this, and that means they're not available at the moment, which means there might be a problem. So for some of you who have a camera that has Wi-Fi, for example, I've seen a lot of problems with that because you have to turn on your Wi-Fi or disable your Wi-Fi on your camera in order to sync this way with a wired connection. All right, so if you guys are having those problems, then yeah, just turn off your Wi-Fi. You guys are good to go again. So you guys can select you and download images. You guys can do this. Okay, remote shooting, so I know most of you don't even have a problem with downloading the images. If you guys are still having problems, then yeah, you guys could buy just an adapter and then just fire it up. Okay, just take out your SD card, put in the adapter, put in your Mac, and you guys are good to go. Right now, what I'm gonna do is test out remote shooting. So right now, remote shooting, let's just click on that. I know everything's gonna work because everything highlights. If it doesn't highlight, it's not gonna work, okay? So, let me just zoom out. So here we go. So as you guys can see, I can do a live shot. There we go, so I can see exactly what's in my camera. There we go, yeah, it's not focused, so that's why. So don't worry about it, I'll focus it. All right, so that's manual shooting. Anyways, um, that's how it works. It works just fine. It's working right now with the newest Mac OS. So finally, yeah, Canon. 
updated this so it should be all good to go anyways if you guys have any problems questions you guys can write them down here in the comments area don't forget to subscribe and rate thank you